What's up guys, New Runs back. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a short video. More so I can see it changes over the coming years here. Um, as I'd mentioned in that video, that last um, photo video, my dad recently died. Um, Mom died about two and a half years ago. So my sister and I decided to keep um, the property they have and the trailer that they, well, I grew up in, she grew up in. So it's about a, just under an acre. We're going to wander around the property. Um, really not going to be able to do anything with it, start doing anything with it till next year. Um, yeah, no. um, but uh, so we're going to see what we're starting with. Um, we're going to make a big garden oh, for us to share and probably to sell. Um, looking to put a lot of herbs in and some a lot of uh, flowers, cut flowers. Maybe that's something the wife and the Miss Munda can get into. Um, selling, you know, the, the cut flowers thing. So, sister's on board. And we said, just remember when we come out, the dogs will be running around the backyard. So, I'll have to take that into um, consideration. We got three dogs. Combined weight is probably three, yeah, probably about 300 pounds. They're big ones. And their little ones uh, getting bigger by the day. A little pit mix so I guess I gotta go check on the cats on this inside and uh, let's just do a little walk around the yard all right guys so uh, this is out the back door this is a completely fenced in it does have electric it's got a hot wire on the top of the fence just uh, like a four foot kind of a uh, square uh, goat kind of fence that's what I was looking for um, so mom always loved flowers and stuff this stuff you can kind of see here Anybody tell me what kind of seed pod that is? Anybody? Alright, that's what the seeds look like inside. They're very, ouch! They're very sharp. Um, they seed very prolifically. It's an actual true moonflower. Um, so definitely we'll keep the moonflowers here because it's really cool in the summer when you come out here and it's dark and there's big giant white flowers there. Uh, the old grill. <laughs> so you can kind of see, you know, mom built the old train there we we'll have to check it out we might have to do some work on it it's, looks a bit bit of a rough shape so another thing i'd like to do over here is maybe have kids or um i don't know anybody that wants to garden or wants to learn how to garden uh, we could bring them here and uh have them out here i think i'm gonna put a sign on the gate though that says no shoes <laughs> love being barefoot so but uh got the old non-running mower there that mower's good we need to get that in the barn uh, before it snows but uh, <clears throat> so we got big maple big maple big maple another big maple um that's a tulip tree or tulip poplar um i've actually been tapping these actually yeah there's another one right there i've been tapping them the last few years for a uh, sap so we'll keep doing that but uh mom had a little <clears throat> area back here she had flowers in some herbs um has not been maintained as you can tell um oh look there's an elephant i'm surprised my sister didn't take it home <laughs> my wife and sister to battle back and forth about they both love elephants and so but we're probably as you can see um it is very shaded here so we could probably utilize this for uh, some of the cut flowers or some things that uh, don't need as much sunlight um <clears throat> so, but Definitely need to get out here and clean up these leaves. I think I'm definitely going to have to invest in, and I've wanted to for a few years, is a leaf shredder. We'll definitely be using the leaves, um, make some leaf mold, use some mulch and that kind of thing. But I'm not wanting one because at our house, it's just all oaks. <laughs> and they do decompose over a couple of years, but even if you shred them or mow them, they just, they're just they so tough, they don't break down quick. So you kind of see what we got going on here pretty much open. <laughs> Um, right along in here, you can kind of see them. Um, I'll get up closer in a second. Um, this is pretty much all open. Um, <clears throat> those trees over there are locust trees. I would like to take them down, but I wouldn't. don't want to pay somebody. And them things are so brittle and old, I don't trust myself doing it. So I guess we'll let nature bring them down. Hopefully not on the barn. All the trees along the back here are um, locust too. So. But anyway, <clears throat> this here is, well that isn't, I'm not sure what kind of trees getting in the way there but this is uh raspberries all along in here growing we'll definitely keep those and maybe expand them some more 
Um, if we're gonna have people over, we probably should move them away from, well, we can turn the fence off, so. What in the world happened to that? I have to replace that one. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so, you can kind of see right here, there's a little bit of a hump. There is a drain field here, so I'll probably put a couple raised beds in this area. Kind of between you and me, the trees, or some, or that stuff there, that's a horseradish. They never got rid of it, and they never used it, so. <laughs> oh, we got Dozer's ball, didn't see that. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we got kind of a blank slate, guys, so if you, you see this, and you got any thoughts, let me know, that'd be awesome. Um, I got some ideas, we'll have to do it on a shoestring budget, though. So, raised beds won't be with uh, too much full price dimensional lumber I might hit a <coughs> sawmill or something see if I can get that, some other stuff so here's, here's the old horseradish they did have some rhubarb back here um, got some poke is that poke weed yeah, I think that's poke weed um, <coughs> so that barn's full that barn's not too bad um, boat is mine I just gotta get around cleaning it up and new tire on it um, but anyway, I can almost see a little bit better the slight rise. It's not very much the drain fields just kind of in here this Switches that silly little plastic rock <clears throat> So one thing I'm, I like doing is <clears throat> working with natural stuff. So this has been a uh, wood pile for a long time a lot of that's oak and <clears throat> mix of oak uh, wal walnut and maple not maple um, uh, Oak walnut and uh, cherry wild cherry so that is going to have a lot of hummus in it underneath it. Oh, it so I mean, just look at this. So that's this is going to be a great place to. I don't know. Maybe we could do some kind of hugel culture thing with that. Unfortunately, it kind of flows down here pretty sharp in this area for the drainage. But so there you go, guys. But anyway, I don't know if I finished my statement. Do you have any thoughts or any suggestions on uh, what to do? how to set it up let me know i don't got, got got some ideas but i'm always open to doing something else so, so here's the train guys you definitely use a scrubbing yeah it definitely needs some work look it's an old picnic table <laughs> so we got the old jungle gym here old school you have to have a kid fall off of it i'm surprised all right, let's go to the outside. <clears throat> All right, guys, here's a little reference for you. This is the well house and the pump. So that's definitely have to be a consideration <clears throat> to get back there to water. Whether we actually run some some piping back there, you know, like tee it off so we can still use it or something like that. But consideration we'll have to make. Um, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. So. But, uh, so here's the front. Oh, glory, just kind of, man, it's not moving. Maybe it's just it's a slight breeze, but it's sharp. So, um, over here, that's with the remnants of a giant elm tree. It was taken down a while back. You see the hack, hack marks. Dad would Dad have my oldest boy come out here and burn energy with, a, with that axe, trying to break it up. So, about once every two years or so, he would find one or two morel mushrooms either over here or by the well house. Um, so, <clears throat> you got the ubiquitous yuccas and things. Um, this front area, we were planned on redoing it last spring, but I started working six days a week and all the human malware virus and all that junk. Uh, we didn't get to it. So this is a flower bed. There's a variety of stuff in here. There's a lot of perennials. Um, I don't remember what is all in here. Back in the day, how many of your parents uh, did ceramics? Yeah, my mom too. Looking kind of creepy. Uh, so, but then we got another row of, I cannot remember what's here. I'm looking for leaves. I'm not sure. Just another row here. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so, big oak tree. So from here, you can kind of see how wide this is here. <clears throat> so, yeah, <clears throat> all this is part of our, uh, our blank slate, too. So, 
technically over there is not ours. But you know what I always thought would look would grow really well over there? Elderberries. So it would, it would be amazing if somebody like blew some elderberry seeds or saplings over there and they just grew. But anyway, so again we got quite a bit of cover in this area, which isn't bad. Um, lots of big trees. Um, so, lilac bush, lilac bush. Um, I'm honestly considering if I can, when I can find fruit trees cheap, it's kind of doing a, a orchard or a tree forest or kind of like a garden forest out here. So. <clears throat> We got lots of room to we got lots of room to play. And actually, it's one of my secrets here. There's a, it's kind of a power line right away here, but through here and going the other direction, the other side of the road, a lot of wild asparagus growing. So, <clears throat> gotta love fresh asparagus, especially when it's locally grown. So, <clears throat> so yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Any thoughts? What would you do if you had? had this as a blank slate to uh, create a garden, a food garden, maybe somewhat of a market garden. Like I said, cut flowers, lots of herbs. Uh, we'll definitely have a bunch of lavender. I have a big um, patch of oregano at my house. We're going to probably bring some of them cuttings here. Uh, I've got comfrey will definitely be going in. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's It'll be, definitely can't do it all at once, but uh, I don't want to have to redo much stuff, so I'm kind of overthinking this stuff. So. All right. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. I appreciate your feedback and the thoughts you have about what you would do with this uh, to turn it into food, maybe a little bit of side business, that kind of thing. So, All right, guys. Peace, 7-3. God bless you guys. Be good humans. They might just QRT.